for releases. So in agile software development, a release may span multiple iterations or sprints. And when you are defining the definition of done for releases, you should consider some of the following key criteria that we are going to discuss in this tutorial. Now, when you're talking about the release, so release might have a uh, release will have multiple sprints in there. Uh, it might be, you know, like uh, approximately six sprints or so like uh, six, uh, three months um, cycle. Uh, and in those releases, you um, release the software to the production. Uh, when, when you talk about agile software development, you can also release very frequently. So it depends what frequency um, your organization is uh, following and releases might be even uh, one month you can go in production for one month and based on what frequency is being defined you can define what needs to go into the release and what all uh, definition of done criteria you need, you need to consider for those releases and since release span multiple iterations so that means there might be multiple features and epics that will be delivered as part of the release now what are the key criteria that you need to consider when you're talking about definition of done for the releases the first thing is that all code for release should be complete so when you are saying that this is the release i'm looking for and this this is a monthly release and in a monthly monthly release what all features or what all epics i'm going to deliver uh, in that particular release so all the coding for the user stories below that particular release need to be completed um, and then all the unit functional system and non-functional testing should also be completed so not only just functional but non-functional aspects of the release or the items that are added in the release should be completed as well then all the quality criteria should be met and adequate testing should be performed for the items that are added in the release so it, it uh, should be functional unit level testing uh, any uh, performance testing and non-functional testing should also be done and completed as per the risk analysis done for that particular release then all the acceptance criteria that are mentioned in the user stories for that particular release need to be met so that again comes down to the user stories acceptance criteria you you won't be able to move or you, sh you shouldn't be moving a user story as done unless or until the user story meets the definition of done so in in terms of releases it, it comes down to saying that all the user stories that you have added in the release should meet their acceptance criteria or uh, the acceptance criteria defined within the user story and the acceptance criteria defined for the release then you should ha you shouldn't have any outstanding critical and major issues so if there are any critical and major issues that means that your software is not developed with the quality and you shouldn't be going into production with the known issues that might um, impact the credibility or uh, credibility of the organization then you should have sign off received from all the involved teams development product owner and qa the sign off should be there and all the documentation whatever is required for that particular release um, should be also completed so these are some of the key um, criteria that you need to include in your definition of done for releases um, again these this is not a comprehensive list this can uh, this can change as per the discussion within um, your team and stakeholders and what key criteria they need to include as part of the definition of done for releases will um, impact this uh, list thank you